This is very well balanced, Joe, and I think some of the, uh, the more favoured riders are likely to come a little bit later, but a mix of youth and experience, and quite frankly, the sort of less familiar sight of a three-up sprint here. Yeah, it's definitely a lot less familiar. It, doesn't ever, it does happen sometimes, but normally we just have a match sprints as a two-up competition, so it's just one-on-one. -on -one. You see the sort of cat-and-mouse tactics, but here at this event, we've got a few different formats to keep it exciting, and yeah, we've got three riders on the track, so you've got, you know, each individual rider here has got two other riders to try and keep their eyes on. Um, so in some ways, easier for us at the back, you can see exactly, you know, what's going on in front of them. Two laps to go, about next time by, and Ryan Halal has decided to take the point and possibly make a big one. Uh, Dimitriev has, to, has plenty of work to do. He's got some rush room out there, but uh, Rudjik looks in a decent position, but is he a, uh, just actually acting like the Sprat? Let's see if the big fish can come out of the top. Uh, there is Dimitriev still biding his time. He's got a long, long way to go. It looks like a lockdown at the moment. Halal looks good for this. He's still on the inside. Is he going to get there? Rudjik comes through. Super work by the pole. Well, the 26-year-old did a fabulous job there. He bowed his time brilliantly. And uh, number 26, Matthias Rudzik, our winner. Sorry about the graphic, but uh, Denis Dimitriev gave himself an awfully long time there. And in fact, uh, took too much time before he tried to impose himself. Looked like a lockdown at this position. Ryan Halal thought he got the drive, but the slingshot off the corner meant that Rudzik possessed that. Yeah, he did. So Halal took control of this race. And like we were saying, it's difficult when you've got three riders on the track. And I think coming from behind was a good option here for both Rudjik and Dimitriev. But for Dimitriev, just too far to go with two riders to come around there. So Rudjik really sort of got that perfect there, timed it to perfection, came around, taken the win on the line, and he is through to the semi-finals, which we're going to see um, not, too, not too long. The poles have a superb history in track cycling and, and uh, road cycling. When the Iron Curtain was up, the old Peace Races used to... Well,